Whoop, 22nd, 2021. Um, today was the day the hole in the table occurred. I fell right through it on camera, no less. Um, anyway, so I am just watching the current news. Um, and I know that uh, they sometimes put things in a certain order. Um, I'm going, I played, I watched it forward. I rewound just a slight bit. I'm going to go and then I'm going to go back because... Um, there's some things I didn't realize in the beginning that happened, um, but it is definitely, I want to mention what I saw first and then go back to the beginning that ties in, it looks like a different way. SUV models. Spectra Mobile is reinventing wireless again. Introducing the best deal in mobile. No. It says mobile, and it says spectrum mobile. Now, I'm just curious. When mobile has the word mob and then aisle, <laughs> is that how they fundraise for political world? I'm just curious. Um, because usually there's some kind of spec, but right now what I see is a tantrum. And look at this. It says trum. <laughs> and then it looks like Instead of tan trum, it's spec trum. It looks like the whole world had some kind of battalion tantrum um, and started some kind of sedition unlawfully and illegally um, and used certain people's kindness to a dangerous effect, which I'm currently still feeling the cascading and domino, we'll call it domino effects of Dominion. Um, but it definitely reads mob and then they'll do something. So they're getting monthly income to feed their campaign. Introduce mobile with no contracts, no added taxes, and no hidden fees. And now we're doing it again. Making it easier to get unlimited for less with our best deal ever. Get unlimited from Spectrum Mobile for just $29.99. That's amazing. That's the best deal in mobile. Join the millions who've switched to get the best deal in mobile. Now I'm just curious if this goes to fund some kind of mob mentality that people are, is this like an excise tax? Uh, is this taxation without representation? Or is this one like one of those contraband taxes that are hidden fees somehow? Just curious how people get away with stuff in how their businesses are run in. I can't figure out how to get out of my own situation, but everybody else seems to be doing well. That looks like a lot of electricity, I'm just saying. It's a telling ad campaign. Turns the TV on, turns the lights on Broadway on. Wow, I'm really getting a universal message here. It sounds like you know you'll really have dementia. It's what it, the words sounded like. I mean, I speak English, but I don't speak this version of human. I try to decipher their codes, but it's, they're a tough crowd. Today we're facing major crises in healthcare, in housing, and on our streets. I'm Eric Adams, and my plan means real security for every family. Preparing for the next health care crisis, investing in more affordable housing and early childhood education, job training for people out of work, and tackling gun violence head on. 
I gotta say, I really enjoy his accent. I'm not kidding. There's something about him that just screams New York in like a theatrical kind of a way. Let's build a better, safer New York. Paid for by Eric Adams, 2021. Okay, now I do want to rewind, however, to how did we get to Eric Adams and some COVID and the pandemic with the children of Earth having some tantrum. Okay, so there's, there's something about an abortion. Now, I'm, is that like, it says abortion ban battle. With the Department of Justice in Texas on Channel 7, Eyewitness News, that's ABC. Um, so, abortion ban battle. Is that like abort mission battle that never went through? Because they really make it sound like a woman's having a child and it's her right to choose. But was this tied back to the great grape rape back in 1998? I'm just curious. Because I know the timing mechanic gets a little funky, but it is nuclear atomic mechanics <laughs> at um, Nuclear Family. Just saying at theoretical and in-action physics. There are arguments on the controversial Texas abortion law on November 1st. And I mean, it happened now. So now it just seems like guilty parties, why aren't they being served justice for those that took part in forcing this issue and writing the wrong future into addition? Until then, the law will remain in place. The nation's highest court refused to block the law, but... Now, also, what's interesting is... They have a different a flag. We'll hear arguments on the controversial Texas abortion law on November 1st. Until then, the law will remain in place. The nation's high. Now, I'm curious because this looks like a Capitol building. And they make it sound like there's only one Capitol building in Washington. But again, I don't have any firemen and police officers or National Guardsmen or Royal Guardsmen or Royal Air Force or anything to ask any real serious questions to. So. I'm guessing here, but I do see this is a different flag. It looks more like the Czech Republic flag to me, but I mean, I'm just saying that's like, is that Central European? I don't know. Its highest court refused to block the law, but agreed to expedite the case. The law bars doctors from performing abortions six weeks after contraception and allows citizens to bring a lawsuit against someone who thinks they think helped facilitate an abortion. In December, the Supreme Court will hear... See, it makes a whole lot more sense when you have the nuclear timing mechanic and what actually happened, and then those headlines. Because when it's just one woman, and it could be any woman on the street, the, the whole news headline... Does not make sense. It never made sense to me. We'll hear a similar abortion rights case out of Mississippi. A private memorial service will be held for former Secretary of State Colin Powell on November 5th at the Washington National Cathedral. Powell died on Monday of complications from COVID and other health challenges. He was vaccinated but had a weakened immune system from cancer and Parkinson's. Powell grew up in New York City and during his distinguished career, he served as chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and as Secretary of State. City College of New York... Uh so the whole time that the great, great rape was going on, he was in New York? I didn't even know. They didn't have, like, a montage to him to say that he was born in New York, that he was trying to represent New York. I mean, how are we ever supposed to find out? If he's what's in charge of New York, and I'm being harmed by not being able to have the same rights or the same ability to get to where I need to be, being that I have the special birthing mechanic and I actually have the immaculate child either way, being Alexander on a special atomic timing mechanic. I'm August 3rd, he's August 3rd, and we're in significant celestial and zodiac years. Um, so I'm just curious how that was going to 
work because the facts are the facts, even after the fact of when the initial crime happened, it just stacks war crimes going forward. So I don't ever understand why it's so hard to clean this section up and why now we're 21 years further into this dangerous sedition. Honored Powell by naming its school for civic and global leadership after him. A frightening scene at a park in Manhattan, an 11 year old punched and her hair pulled. The latest on what happened and why they're looking for that man and may have sparked the incident. Also, the arrest today after a woman returned to her home from a jog only to be attacked by an armed intruder. Plus, the tough questions about the Justice Department's investigation into the January 6th riots at the Capitol. Closed captioning is sponsored by Ray Warren Flanagan. In um, star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza. Um, I don't have access to a flag that looks like that. In my local Bayside station, Bayside, New York area, also Patchogue, um, New York area, and I'm pretty sure everywhere I've ever gone on Long Island, um, it's been, and in New York City, it's been this flag as a united front of some sort. Um, it has not been represented with one star uh, with the blue and red and white. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've seen Texas fly that flag. I've seen it several other places um, it, with references of words. But again, I don't have like an almanac. Is it an almanac? Is I don't know where the true source is anymore during my time frame, I've become completely disoriented because there's been so much falsely created moving history that some of the actual set copy written pieces that were supposed to be staples and anchors in one re unified reality together for everybody's health and safety and welfare being that it's, um, like the big climate change. Um, but again, um, this is where I am at the moment is I feel like I have no squares to even reference because I've got all this going on at the same time that I'm going on, but I don't know how to get to any of these squares. I don't know what they represent. I don't know how they've been functioning while I've been stuck in this and now it just ends and there's, I don't see anything in the serendipitous like movement and I don't know, it's quite frightening especially when um, you can see the signs of being hurt. Today I was in the park with my son um, Anthony right there. Um, and it was in the Marie Curie Park that we go to each day with a maple leaf, uh, but in a chartreuse color, which is the color of Iceland on my specific repoggle of Globemaster. Um, and all of a sudden he was climbing down a part of the structure and his entire like gluteus minimus um, and part of the gluteus maximus just crump like he said it just he says right down to the bone he said the blood he says it was the muscle and the blood mom and I go what about your bone he goes no definitely the bone too and I said and he that see that's one of these biological terrorist um changes from either fiber opti op optic fiber or or satellite with the electrical grid or the national grid, I'm not quite sure. I don't know specifically. I'm unbeknownst as to where it's coming from. But I do know at specific times he's been affected. I know I've been harmed. And um, they call it paranoid, but it's, it's a no ID. But when you put the letters, the four key op letters, N-O-I-D, together with the para mounted, which is where physics is. It's in a para mount to where your physical space is. It's called paranoid, but it's, it's a no ID. We don't have an ID for it. It's not been named. It's not a definable space, but it's coming from a space just beyond 
It's the void in your sight line. Like I can see between my body and my son's body that there was a space between us physical proximity wise, but I cannot see be, it, the paranoid part is the no ID is what was actually physically affecting him at the time. He, we had to leave the, sh the chute, the ladder that he was coming down. He limped over to a bench and kind of sideways sat with me and just cried hysterically. Um, his eyes also changed color, which is really interesting because I've never seen that happen. But I was more frightened with this biological change that I couldn't help him with in the moment. Um, it was like almost, a, I guess you could explain it as a muscle cramp. Daniel used to get them all the time, my son Daniel, when he was little. They would just come out of nowhere and there would be muscle spasms. Um, and so, but again, there's nowhere to report these things. I do, did mention it to the doctor, but again, it, they never, it never seems to get fixed. So um, Nucci's eye color changed. Um, it went from hazel in the center, like I have, to a gold, a really deep golden yellow. Um, and then it went out to white and gray blue. Um, and it was a very pronounced, symbolic uh, color change in a, a, a beautiful arrangement, but in the moment, it's an absolutely horrid muscle fiber uh, interaction with whatever that color was going on in his iris, I-R-I-S, um, that I was his eyewitness for because I was studying his eye and the situation around him for the physical things I could discern on his behalf. Um, let's think about this. So today's October 22nd, 2021, um, and... I am in Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. It is Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken. Um, and so this is not the first time that my son has been at this particular park and has been, has suffered some form of weird paranormal or paramounted attack on his person. He's also suffered before from a lower extremity body paralysis and then urination. Uh, to, and it totally embarrassed him, which then we had to leave the park immediately. Um, but again, these are things that are existential and kinesthetic to whatever's going on on the squares at the same time slightly before or that know what comes next that I don't have privy to while I'm traversing in a labyrinth of topiary to describe my own situation in a double blind. I have no idea what's behind me, what's in front of me, and how the interaction as I define my space and what's going on, who could possibly be sitting in arrears or in some flash forward trying to anticipate my steps or my whatever and then take action to block me further. It feels like that's what's been going on the entire time because there's no reason why I should be in this situation with these headlines as my only tunnel vision to try to put some form of reality together to define my space and what could be going on on a more serious um, targeted attack. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Cataruza.